Hey guys, welcome to another lunch review. Today I'm going to try this Marie Callender's Classic Spaghetti and Meatballs Bowl. It is savory meatballs over spaghetti in a slow simmered Italian style tomato sauce. Um, let's see, it's 12.4 ounces or 352 grams. We bought this at Kroger. It was $3.29. Not too off the bat. It looks really good. Uh, let's see. 460 calories for the box, for the whole meal, the bowl. There's your other info for you if you'd like. Um, looks like you can do it in the conventional oven if you want to. Of course, we don't do ovens on this channel, but you can if you want. So for the microwave, we're on a cook on high for four minutes. No need to vent the film. So basically just stick it in there for four minutes, stir and recover, and then cook for an additional one and a half to two and a half. I'll probably go two, and then make sure it's hot enough to, to be safe to eat. So no pull tabs, I see. They open really easy though, so that's good. So there it is. So literally put it in the microwave just like it is, and I'll be back when it comes out. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave and um, looks pretty good. I did go two minutes on the second time just to uh, make sure it was good and hot because uh, it was still kind of cool, but I mean, not cool. It was, it just wasn't completely hot. So let me cut the meatball in half, let you see it close up. I don't know, I'm getting steamy here. So there's what they look like. It looks like the meatballs you would get, like uh, you can buy them in the frozen section, the, like the bags of like frozen meatballs. That's kind of what they look like. They're kind of dense, uh, which most meatballs are. Let's see, you get one, two, three. There's only four meatballs in here. So you definitely want to cut them up at least in half to um, to make sure they go a little bit further than if you just let, ate them whole. So yeah, so I'm gonna let this uh, cool off for a minute. I'm gonna take over the table, be right back. Okay, I gave it a minute to cool off. So I've got the meatball and the spaghetti and sauce, of course, so here we go. Texture-wise, it's really nice. The, um, the the spaghetti itself is uh, cooked really well. It's not uh, mushy and it's not hard either. It's just, I mean, it's really literally cooked perfect. Um, there's a little bit of spice in there and I think it's in the sauce. Let me try just the sauce with the noodles. No meatball in it. I'm gonna see if that spice is in the meatball or in the sauce. A little bit. Okay, so let me try meatball by itself. Hmm. I think it's in the meatball because I was I was did, couldn't tell. It seemed like it was in the sauce, but I think it's in the meatball itself. The meatball is not just a. Um, it's not just like ground beef shoved, packed together, and, and cooked. It's more like a sausage patty. So if you get like an Italian sausage. That's the flavor of it more than um, just ground beef, which I like. I like it that it's a um, it's actually a flavorful meatball. It's not just meat, you know. It's just not ground beef. It's got some seasonings to it as well. Um, I actually like that quite a bit. I say it has some spice to it, but it's like when I first took a bite, it was like gave me a little bit of tingle in the back of my throat. But then the second bites and on has been perfectly fine. There's no tingle at all. So. Maybe if you didn't like any spicy food at all, this would be too much for you, but I don't, I don't think so. Um, I like it too, that the spaghetti is all cut pretty short, and that means, may seem like a silly thing to, to think about and comment on, but some of these meals have like really long, like spaghetti noodles that long, and you're gonna have to spin them or cut them up or something to get them on your fork and eat them. Um, these are really nice because I'm scooping them up and they're all short enough to get on my fork and eat without having to cut them up and deal with it. Um, I like this one quite a bit actually. It's um, It's got really good flavors. It's got really good textures. Um, I'm gonna give this one a four and a half out of five. It's not quite a five because it does have some burn to it. It does have some tingle. Now that I'm, I got another bite, it's, it's got a little tingle on your tongue. I kind of like that, but I wish that the sauce itself was a little stronger. Um, have it more of a tomato flavor. I'm not getting a lot of the tomato flavor. If it had gotten a little bit more of the sauce flavor, I think I would have given it a five out of five. But since the sauce is a little light, I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five. I still really, really like it. Would encourage you to um, try this if you like a spicier um, Italian sauce, like an Italian meatball um, meal. I think that's really, really good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.